Okay, so today we're going to talk about um, the min and the max function and then how to find matrix, uh, min and max values inside matrices. Okay, so the general form for f the max function is you have the variable name on the left hand side is assigned max function and inside the function you would put um, matrix name first, comma, um, brackets, comma, one or two. You would put one if you want to find maximum of each um, columns. So the maximum of this column right here out of 1, 6, and 11, 11 is still max, and then 12 for this one, 13 for this one, and 14 and 15 for the other two. If you want to find max of each row going across, you would put two. Um, so for this row you have 5 as your max, for this row you have 10 as your max value, and then for this one you have 15 as your max value. Now the other way of writing it is like this. You write it like this if you want to also know the index at which um, the max values occur. So you have max values comma index of max. So this is a matrix on the left hand side. Um, it's going to be more like um, two by something matrix because um, because you have max values in the index of um, max. Then you have the same stuff on the right hand side. The minimum, the min function to find minimum values is basically the same as the max function, except instead of writing um, max here, you write the min. You write min here, and you write min here instead of writing max here. So they're both the same, um, basically the same function except one finds the max and one fu one finds the min. So let's do an example problem. Here we have a matrix A that contains elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and all the way up to 15. Um, so we want to find the max of columns. Now I'm not going to um, I'm not going to assign variables here. So I'm just going to write max because variables are optional. If you don't have to assign it to anything, so here I'm going to say max of the first thing you write is the matrix name right here. So you write a comma uh, empty brackets comma, and then we want to find the max of columns each of all columns. So we would put one here. Now if we save and run this program you see that we get 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15, just what we expected to get. Um, so, the, so as we can see, the max of each of this column is 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Um, if you want to find the, say you wanted to also find the index of, um, I guess I will assign it to something, um, I'll call it I1. You can already um, tell that the index of all of these are going to be 3 because 1, 2, 3. So this is the index of 11, 3 in that column. So if I run this, you see that I1, which is the index uh, vector, um, is has 3. Actually, did I say this is going to be a matrix? No, this, this should not be a matrix because it, it has two variables. That was, that was my bad. Um, you have this is going to be this is going to be two different um, um, vectors actually um, okay so basically you can see that this is the index of this gives you three this gives should give you three one two three this should also give you three this should also give you three so the index of this in this column will be one index of this will be two index of this will be three so now let's find um, maximum of each row um, and again, I'll actually just assign it um, um, variables to so we can see the index. Then I'll stop doing index after that. So to find max of rows, it's basically the same code except for you write a 2 here because you want to find max of rows instead of columns. Um, if I run this, you see that the max of each max of each row in this matrix is for this row it's five for this row 
for this row it's 10 and for this row it's 15 and the index in this row is fifth five here one two three four five here so the index of 10 is 5 right here index of 10 is 5 and so is the index of 15 is also 5 now that we have that um, I'm not going to do show you more about indexes I'll just write um, it directly like this so now we want to find the minimum of each um, column so we know that we should get 1 2 3 4 5 when we run um, when we type our code and run it so we have the main function inside. The first thing you put is the matrix name, single bracket, uh, I mean oh, empty brackets, and then you put one because it's for columns. And then we see we get one, two, three, four, five. Similarly, uh, you could do the min of rows. If you wanted to find min of rows, you would just put a two here. You get rid of this. You would put a two here if you want to find um, minimum of each row. And you, you should get one, um, one, six, and eleven. If um, yeah, you should get one, six, and eleven if you do that. So so yeah, that's you can do that too. Now, what do you do if you're given this matrix and they tell you to find um, the maximum value in the entire matrix? What you do is you can still use a max function. Um, to find the max value in the entire matrix, but what you do is do you do something called that something called nesting. So nesting is when you put a, a function inside a function, a loop inside a loop, um, and things like that. So here we'll be putting a max function inside a max function. Um, so so in the what MATLAB looks at is the first function on the inside. So on the, all the way on the inside, the function, the max function on the inside, you put the matrix name A. Then you put comma. Then you put your um, empty uh, brackets, and then you put one. Now, if you put a one here, you should put um, on the outer one. You should put a two here. So what MATLAB looks at is this first. It looks at this. Um, this is the same thing. Um, this is a new matrix, basically, a new matrix. Um, so it looks at this first, and then this is we saw right here um, is going to be this vector, uh, a vector that contains elements 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15, and then this right here will find the maximum out of just these uh, five elements so you get 15 like that um, another way of doing it or if you if you don't like nesting functions if you're not okay with that yet what you can do is you can say new a is assigned max a comma single uh, I mean empty brackets one so when I run this I'm going to hide all of these real quick. So when I run this, you see that new A is assigned 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So basically what you're saying is take this matrix A, find the um, the maximum in, in each column. So now, now that you have maximum in each column, you can find um, maximum overall by just using these elements because these are already the maximum values in each column so the overall maximum value has to be one of these five values so what you can do is max new um, maximum value comma empty brackets comma two so this time you want to find the maximum of this row right this is one by five ma uh, matrix so this is a this is a row vector so you want to find maximum of of, um, of this row. So you would put a two here, um, and then you will see that you you should get fifteen because that's a maximum of. Oh, I meant new a. I meant new a. Um, so when you run this, you see that you should get fifteen for this. Um, this um, two lines of code. You could write it in two lines of code, but it's basically the same thing as writing this. Um, 
it's called nesting a function. You put a function inside a function. Um, the same way you can find the min function, um, you would put a min function inside a min function. That's the first thing you do. And then you put single brackets here. And then you, okay, the way it works, or the easier way of thinking about it, is if you put a um, your matrix name first here inside this um, min function, you put a matrix name first. Then you would put um, single or, op or empty brackets. And if you put a 1 here, you have to put a 2 here. If you put a 2 here, you have to put a 1 here. So it's something um, you can remember, or you can, if you, if you see how this works, it's basically the same thing. Um, we should get 1 for this when, you, when we run it. Oh, I, I hit the answer. We should get 1. So this is called, this is again called nesting a function. You put a function inside a function. And another way of writing this would be the same thing it would say um, you would say new b I'm going to call or I'm going to yeah whatever mu I'll call it mu um, it's assigned min a bracket uh, comma and then you put um, I would say one I'm gonna go with one so when I run this you'll see that we get a new vector mu that's assigned 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now you use the min function once again and then you put um, a uh, now you put mu comma empty brackets comma 2 because you put a 1 here so you put a 2 here now um, and you get 1 because the minimum of this matrix is 1 so it's as simple as that. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you for watching.